Let's find the values of x over y, given that x plus y is equal to 5 times the square root of xy. Well, our first step will be for us to get rid of this square root by taking the square of both sides. So I'll take the square of the left hand side and I'll also take the square of the right hand side. Now squaring the left hand side, we have x squared plus 2 times x times y, that is 2xy plus y squared. And this is equal to squaring the right hand side, we have 5 squared, which is 25, times this square cancels out the square root, leaving behind xy. Now our next step will be for us to move 25xy to the left hand side so that we have x squared plus 2xy and as 25xy crosses to the left it becomes minus 25xy and then plus y squared equal to 0. Now simplifying further we have x squared 2xy minus 25xy is negative 23xy and then plus y squared equal to 0. Now notice that we're looking for x over y so our next step will be for us to divide through by y squared. So this expression now becomes x squared divided by y squared minus 23xy divided by y squared plus y squared divided by y squared. So this is we dividing through by y squared. Now this expression from indices can also be written as x over y all raised to the common power 2 minus now this y cancels out one of the y from the denominator so that we have 23 x over y x over y and then plus y squared divided by y squared is 1 so I'm going to be having 1 here equal to 0 divided by y squared is 0 now see that here we have x over y and we also have x over y here so we can introduce substitution by saying that let x over y be equal to t. So we're going to be substituting t here and here. So this becomes t raised to the 2 minus 23t plus 1 equal to 0. So we have a nice quadratic equation. And we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this. Our a here is a coefficient of t squared, that is 1. Our b is a coefficient of t, that is negative 23. And then our c is a constant, which is 1. Now we're looking for t. So t will be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now let's substitute here. We have t to be equal to minus b. So minus b, b is negative 23 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is negative 23 squared minus 4 times a times c so 4 times a, a is 1, times c, c is also 1, all over 2 times a, that is 2 times 1. So this simplifies into t equal to negative times negative is positive, so we're going to be left with positive 23 plus or minus the square root of negative 23 squared is actually 529 minus 4 times 1 times 1 is 4 
all of our 2 times 1, that is 2. So simplifying further, our t becomes 23 plus or minus the square root of 529 minus 4 is 525 all over 2. Now our next step will be for us to split this. So we have t to be 23 plus or minus the square root of 525 is same as 25 times 21 all over 2. Now this expression can further be simplified into t equal to 23 plus or minus now this becomes the square root of 25 times the square root of 21 all over 2. We already know that the square root of 25 is actually 5. So this becomes t equal to 23 plus or minus. Now this is 5 times the square root of 21 is 5 root 21 all over 2. Now we can separate the expression. So we have t to be equal to 23 plus 5 root 21 all over 2 or t is equal to 23. Now this time minus 5 root 21 all over 2. Now recall that t is actually x over y, which is what the question asks us to find. So this is 23 plus 5 root 21 over 2. And this is x over y is also 23 minus 5 root 21 all over 2. So either of these two values are correct. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.